What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. <clears throat> I know some of y'all have been waiting on this video all day. Um, I didn't skip over it. Uh, I was just a little bit busy. When I got off from work earlier, what I did was I went ahead and went straight to um, Fernandina Beach. Uh, I had that old itch that I used to have when I first started um I guess you could call it collecting fragrances or running out and buying whatever I could find that was pretty decent. Um, I had that itch and I just couldn't go straight home and lay down. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even been able to go to sleep. So um, I just jumped straight on I-95 South um, towards Florida. And it was only like maybe a, I don't know, maybe a 25 minute drive, something like that. But, um, as you saw the video earlier, um, that TJ Maxx was pretty much loaded. Um, two hidden gems, in which they really weren't hidden. They were like, boom, right there at the front of the table where I found them at. Um, two 50 ml bottles or boxes, yeah, bottles of uh, Bond number no. nine. Um, one of them, <clears throat> they both are from the New York um, line. Um, one of them was the patchouli and the other one was, um, I forgot the name of the other one, but they both are unisex fragrances. The patchouli one is, you can tell it has a little bit of feminine, uh, feminine, femininity to it. Uh, but it leans a little bit slightly towards being manly. Um, the other one, you can tell it leans more towards the feminine side, but, um, I think both of them would be pretty decent wares. They're not the best. I mean, Bleecker Street and, um, what is it? Bleecker Street and Andy Warhol to me are probably the two best. I've never smelled either one of the originals i just have the one that came from sensual obsessions but if they smell anything like those then they're winners um any of the other ones i know nothing about um but pretty decent finds but that is not what you're here for while watching this video you all want to know my thoughts on what i wore earlier today and i got a lot of feedback from it when I posted it, people were curious as to seeing what I had to say. And the one I picked out today, I actually was gonna wear Civet, which is um, the one that somebody on Instagram said that, um, I guess it was supposed to be a little bit better or whatever, or it gets a lot of hate, one of the two. But either way, I actually was gonna wear that one and I chose this one instead for what reason, I don't know, but um, this one is from the House of Zoologist. Let me get straightened up here. And don't talk trash about the wood paneling. This is not my place. I'm at my second job. It's a paper mill. It's an old building. That's what they used to do. So it is what it is, y'all. I know somebody's going to jump in the comment section and say something about the wood paneling. Because when I first started, I was in another building on the opposite side of the plant. And it had the same kind of wood paneling and I used to get chewed the hell out by reviewer uh, subscribers talking about them damn panels. Anyway, uh, the one I wore today from Zoologist is called Hyrax. <clears throat> and it is Extrait de Parfum. So... Listen, this, this house, you have to have an open mind for these type fragrances. Um, Steven from um, Red Adolescence and JC Justin, I think his name is Justin Coleman or something like that. Uh, I've been watching a lot of his videos lately. They did a collab and they talked about, I think it was like 10 of the most challenging fragrances. And I think one of the fragrances was from this house that they smelled. 
And I think Justin said it best. Um, fragrances like this are not for the average collector or um, what do you call it? Um, connoisseur or, you know, for lack of a better word, um, an enthusiast, my bad, an enthusiast. Um, you have to have an open mind for this one and you have to understand the creativity of some people. Um, they set out to do what they did and they did it. And I'm going to be honest. On initial spray, I did not like this. When I sprayed this on, uh, I actually wanted... It wasn't to the point where I was like, oh my God, I'm about to throw up. I'm about... It wasn't like that. It just... It wasn't what I was used to. I'm used to sweet. I'm used to masculine, um, gourmandish. I'm used to fresh. You know, stuff like that. Woody aromatics i'm not used to something like this and the creativity level is through the roof when it comes to zoologists um, i do understand what they were going for and as time went on throughout the day i didn't think about it so much the first hour or so i was walking around like man i'm wondering this is what i'm thinking to myself like i'm wondering if people are smelling me or do they think i stink or you know, smell like a farm animal or, or, or a zoo animal or whatever. And after a while, I didn't even notice it anymore. I get whiffs of it throughout the day, but it wasn't really that bad. And funny thing happened at lunchtime. I'm going to my car, me and a friend of mine. And I guess the wind kept catching it and blowing it towards her. And she was like, you smell so freaking good. What are you wearing? And she already knew what I was wearing because she saw uh, what I picked out. Um, but she couldn't remember, I guess. And uh, I told her, I said, you really think that smells good? Because it's one of the ones that me and you sampled the other day. And, you you know, we went through and only two of them out of all the ones that they sent. They sent me like two packs. Um I don't know, it was probably like 20 of them all together, something like that. And um, we went through all of them, and only two of them, both of us agreed that we like, they both smell kind of somewhat sweet. Um, but she actually complimented me on this. That was the only compliment I got today, was that one compliment. But um, the guy that I keep telling y'all that wears the Invictus or whatever, um, he came in first thing this morning, and... He usually, I'm sitting behind the door and um, he usually come in and he'll look through the little crack like right where the door hinged at. You can see right through there. He usually see me and say something. But he, I guess he was moving so fast he didn't realize I was back there. Um, so I guess I must have made some kind of noise or he like seen me behind the door or something. And um, he was like, man, I should have known you was in here because I could smell you. But he never said that it smelled bad, and he never said it smelled good. So um, I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, surprisingly, like I said, one compliment while wearing this fragrance. And I did not expect to get any compliments from this whatsoever. Um, but a little bit of information on this card. So it says, climbing to its perch in the morning sky. The African sun reaches across a mountain range to care to caress a wide flat boulder, baking baking it to a gentle heat. From a shade of a narrow crevice, uh, a family of hyrax emerges. Hot dusk uh, dulling the sheen of their golden fur as the heat from sweltering sun. <laughs> intensifies ancient aromas are coaxed from the scorched rocks sparse vegetation and petrified uh what is that hyracium eerily they intertwine to form a scent 
that is both primitive and exotic. Uh, it's animalistic tendencies tamed by an undercurrent of sweet florals. Um, I apologize if my reading sucks. Um, I that story I don't. Yeah. So um, top notes are LMI or LME. Pink pepper, saffron, uh, saffron, I should say, and Turkish rose. Heart notes, African stone, um, high, high, hyacinth, styrax, whiskey. Um, base notes, amber, benzoin, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Uh, you do pick up on the far dry down whiffs of that tonka bean, there is some uh, hint of sweetness, but it's not like the sweetness that you're used to in like a, a Uomo um, or you know something like that. Uh, the top notes is where it's kind of rough to get through. Um, it is heavy. It is very thick. Uh, you kind of get like this animalistic kind of vibe from it. Uh, it. It smells almost like an animal would smell like in the African desert or in Africa or in the jungle or something like that. Uh, I said African desert. Is there a desert in Africa? I don't know. Anyway, um, you do kind of get this animalistic type smell from it. Um, I actually told um, Mr. Miami Cuddles earlier because I he posted his um, video earlier on on uh, Facebook and he was talking about three different ones also and the way he described it um, he described it wasn't perfect but he did describe it nicely um, and I said I don't know how I'm gonna word this because I. I really don't know how to pick out notes. I just know that the opening is kind of rough. Um, it's it's animalic, and I don't know if I'm using that word animalic right, but I'm using it towards like the animalistic part of it. You do kind of get like a animal vibe, like a smell, like an animal hasn't been washed in a couple of days or something like that, and it's kind of stinks. Um, you do get that slight whiskey note that's in it i think that's what gives it that thing i think that's what was giving me that kind of off-putting vibe like you know how you you hit a shot and it's hot it's burning going down but you you can smell it as you're trying to swallow it and you get that smell in your nose or if you sniff the whiskey or whatever like it had that kind of vibe blended in um but it dried down kind of nice it's still not a fragrance that I would purchase a full bottle of, to be honest with you. Uh, not this particular one. I'm not going to sit and tell people to run out and go get them because I promise you, a lot of people wouldn't understand. A lot of people wouldn't get it. And I'm one of those people who still, I don't understand. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like a third eye has opened and I just get it because I don't. I don't know why some people would want to smell like some of these fragrances but this one actually isn't that bad it did not the opening was kind of rough like i said before but the mid the far mid and the the dry down is where it kind of changed a little bit um i don't know i'm on the fence about zoologists um i still have a whole bunch more of these carded samples to go through and honestly, I'm looking forward to going through and checking the rest of these out. Um, there may be somebody out there who will see this video or videos like it and get it. And they may understand. They may want to go out and get these or get these carded samples and test them out. Now, what I may do is... Um, if there is somebody that wants to try these, maybe I will send some of these out 
to people or just do one big package box uh, just like to pass it along from a reviewer to reviewer because I only sprayed like a couple of sprays of this on myself because I really didn't want to overdo it they are pretty potent in the opening they don't really last that long I got I got probably about seven and a half to eight hours of longevity because even if I was smelling my wrist or I was still getting whiffs of it. Um, even around lunchtime, when when my friend said she could she could smell it and it smelled good, it was still coming off of me. It wasn't projecting heavily, but it still was working. So I'll give it a good maybe two hours of projection, about eight hours, seven and a half, eight hours of longevity, which is not bad. Um, but I am kind of glad I got to experience or I'm getting to experience the House of Zoologist. Um, I kept seeing these pop up. I heard Ashton from Gentsense talk about them before, um, maybe a few other people, but there are not a lot of people who are talking about these fragrances because I know a lot of people don't get it. A lot of people don't want to walk around smelling like this. I'm a weirdo. And to me, it doesn't really make a difference I don't like to offend people when it comes to fragrances, but um, me testing them out and trying to see what they're about and trying to understand is perfectly fine with me. So thank you to the House of Zo Zoologists for sending out the samples. Um, I appreciate it. Um, just getting to experience this for what it is. Um, So anyway, that's all I have to say about this fragrance. If I did a piss poor job at describing this, um, I apologize because this is difficult. These are very difficult. I'm going to have some some uh, difficult days ahead of me reviewing these fragrances. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe. Um, I'm assuming that they're uh, going for a jungle or forest type atmosphere when when um you they're talking about these fragrances i think some people were expecting these to actually smell like um animal shit or i kind of get the environment maybe um i don't want to get too far ahead of myself but i've heard people talk about T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex and it kind of gives you that sulfuric vibe from like a, a volcano or something like you know the steam coming up out of it that sulfuric you know back in prehistoric times I get I, I can visualize that being said so that's what I think they were going for trying to you know the environment and the scent of the animal um, stuff like that so I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not getting sweat from a damn animal's balls or nothing like that and putting it on a damn in a bottle or putting it in a damn cologne but it's just the notes that they use together I think is what blends and makes these different scents and smells giving you the visual effect if you can imagine it um, and I, I get that part but you know these aren't really this one just really wasn't for me i was just surprised that i got that compliment for from it but anyway thank you all for tuning in um and if you're interested in the house of zoologists um go on their website see how much their carded samples run um i'm not totally sure how i'm gonna do this uh, i don't know if i'm gonna wait until i finish reviewing all the fragrances and um you know do some big giveaway or just ship them all to say outlaw frags or you know whoever is interested in trying these out um because there is more than enough on these cards in this vial I, like i really didn't use that much so maybe if they want to use a few sprays review and then pass it on to somebody else that since sounds to be a good idea but we'll see anyway <clears throat> don't forget to 
like share comment subscribe if you're not a subscriber if you do subscribe make sure you ring the bell for notifications when that icon pops up when you ring the bell make sure you hit all so you can get all content uploaded by yours truly mr cheap sense um and make sure y'all hit them thumbs up buttons the likes or the dislikes i don't give a shit which one you hit um it just gives youtube knowledge of what kind of job i i am or any other reviewer are doing um thus far and that's all i got here's to smelling great peace i, I guess you could call it smelling great if you want to smell like hyrax peace